We're here with Caitlin, who is a former Erie Square Gazette alumni. She used to be the sports editor here, Caitlin. Yes. Caitlin has some very exciting news she wants to share with the Erie Square Gazette journalism students as well as any other SC4 students. Caitlin? I recently just got an internship um, doing game day PR for the Detroit Red Wings. So I'm very excited. I have a very, very exciting season that's going to be coming up. A lot of opportunities and everything. So, what year were you on campus at SC4 as a member of the Erie Square Gazette? This is going to make me feel. Um, <laughs> well, I graduated in 2006, so from fall of 2006 until spring 2008 mm -hmm. I want to say mm -hmm. yep so for four semesters I was on uh, wrote for the okay. Erie Square Gazette so so for those of us who are still struggling to get our degree what would be the advice you would want to give to the other journalism students who haven't quite made it yet their degree um, definitely while you're here I mean networking networking is huge um, just from networking being local it it really opens up so many doors no matter where you go whether you stay in state whether you go out you never know who knows who for where you want to go and definitely yes get your gen eds and everything done here but really take advantage do your research if you're going to continue your education do your research so that you don't have to repeat courses for all that extra money too if you go to a university so SC4 really does have a lot of great communication yeah. classes that you can take here that will transfer. So, I mean, get that done here while you can. That's one of the things I've been sharing with people is just because we do come from a community college does not mean we do not get quality educations here. Uh, for example, the internship I shared with you, mm -hmm. I'm one of only two community college students, but we're competing with kids from Baylor University, UNLV, Virginia Tech so would you agree that a student who's choosing a college could feel safe about getting a quality education at SC4? Uh, absolutely I mean in my interview you know a lot of it was what is your experience in the field how did you get to know this do that and to be honest I would say 90% of my experience and everything I had to share with her was during the time I was at SC4. That's when I gained my experience. That's when, you know, I went to Western for a year afterwards. It didn't really do much. I mean, yeah, I had, <laughs> it wasn't quite the experience I thought it was gonna be at Western, but mm -hmm. I definitely think that SC4 is what opened up the doors for me. And that's where I've gained all my experience was the people right. that I met in this town and while I was here, so. Right.